Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's a boy, Foley Baker, coming to you with another video. Guys, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a while since we've done a video. I mean, um, life has been beautiful, uh, not to say otherwise. Um, today, just going to be sharing um, a lot about um, um, the main wild, interesting, and arid farm. And that's about the animal farm. But before now, we've had um, the pre-sale. We had 14 days to gather rev, converted that to PL2. We had the BUSD raise yesterday to get more PL2. So the PL2 is what you're going to be um, using <clears throat> to get half pigs, half dogs when that launches. Did not do a lot of strategy video for Rev because I've um, been busy with other stuff I've been doing. But I've been doing a lot of VC in my room, keep it dripping. And that's where um, uh, we shared a lot of strategies. And uh, shout out to Night Coda that did the, uh, the visuals to some of the strategies we shared. If not the only person that shared it, but one of the proponents of this strategy. Now, the first thing I want you guys to remember is um, <clears throat> the richest people in the world will stay wealthy if they only collate and leverage on their assets, using them as collateral to get into big licensing deals, to um, take loans from bank, to build an estate, and all whatnot. They don't stay wealthy by selling their assets. So your assets um, are start to be used and leveraged upon for you to uh, stay wealthy. This is the unique selling point of the animal farm because your, your pigs, your dogs, your BUS, they are your assets. So you find a way to really combine them in such a way that you get maximum benefit from leveraging on those assets. Let me quickly tell you, um, say this right here, that um, the, your, the drip liberation is a contract that you want to use when the price of drip is um, done a bit of a retracement. If all you have is BNB and BUSD, but if you've got drip coming out in land chunks, you want to sell sell some of those when the price is high. If you have drip and you have BUSD on the side and um, you want to use both of them to get in, you can take that 10% eat because what's coming to your way is a tsunami. So hope you get uh, the three scenarios and um, what I think is the best thing to do for each of the scenarios. We have a lot of strategies that have been pushed around about um, manor farm, animal farm, especially. So right now, um, this is what I've shared a lot in my vi in my voice chats. Um, uh, shout out to Natkoda again. Did a very good visuals of um, a lot of plays. Um, but as you can see, uh, this play is going to be adapted for those that have PL2s already. We are still going to share um, some of the place if you don't have PL2. So you, you exchange your PL2 for half pigs and half dogs. You stick the pigs in the pig pen. You end some BUSD. You stick the dogs in the single asset staking dogs pool. And then you start earning uh, pigs. You take the pigs you earn from the single asset staking of dog. Um, and put that into the pig pen to earn more BUSD. All of the BUSD you earn by accumulating pigs into the pig pen can then be used, um, it put into the drip liberation to get more drip BUSD LP to even earn more pigs. You, um, you can watch, wash, rinse, and repeat. repeat. Sometimes um, some of the BUSD you have um, for high risk play, 
So that's a low risk play, putting the BUSD into the drip BUSD pool to earn more peaks. Uh, to get a higher multiplier and maybe possibly a higher APY because people are going to be skeptical about dog BUSD and dog BNB. You take the BUSD, you earn from the peak pen, you um, add that, add the dogs, um, some of those that you put into the single asset staking, you take some of that, you pair both of them and um, start earning a, a lot of peaks too. Um, there's going to be a lot of um, um, people doing different sort of strategies based on their risk appetite, their time I've, um, I've allotted to them. Um, if they are doing farming full time or they are working nine to five. But um, yeah, that's, that's the play. And I think this is very, very clear to see. But the aim is to accumulate as many pigs as possible because that's what guarantees your part ownership of the farm gets you um, undiluted with the more pigs you earn. Um, the other play, if you don't have any PL2, like I said, is um, take your BUSD, throw it in the drip liberation, um, um, DCA into that right now when price is like this, because if you don't know where price is going to go, DCA always wins. Put the BUSD in the drip BUSD pool to farm more to farm pigs. Put the pigs into the pig pen to end BUSD. Simple play. If you don't have any PL2, you don't want to. I mean, I've said this for layer one, and I'm going to say this for layer two. You don't want to play all those game of. Um, um, if you have, if you have, if you have got a very big risk appetite, you you can you can decide to um, um play the game of really um um earning pigs or trying to buy pigs from, from the right out of the gate. But it's not something I'm going to really recommend, but I mean, a lot of people would do it regardless. Buying pigs and dogs might be a good play, but you don't want to be exposed to that volatility. So you want to be careful about that. So yeah, um, hope you, hope you, hope you get that gist. So, um, at the end of the day, your risk appetite, your personality, um, your time available to you is all that matters on how to play this. But remember, guys, this is going to be um, an interesting farm. It's, it's, it's one of the best. It's looking like the best already. But trust me, like this is going to blow your mind. Um, with everything that we've got in play, I think this might turn out to be one of the best things you've invested in. I uh, just wanted to keep this short. Um, subscribe, like the video, turn on your notification bell. I might be doing more videos as we go along. Um, I wish you guys best of luck with everything else you do. Thank you very much. And bye-bye.